Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. We got some more plays for you out of the Raiders playbook. Uh, this playbook right here is definitely my, you know, a leading candidate for my next favorite book. You know what I'm saying? I was all about the Saints for the large portion of this year. I started the season with the Ravens because that's what I ended last year with. But this year, I mean, I typically change go-to books, and this is like really in the front of that. Uh, and, and it started simply enough. One of my Patreon members asked for a uh, a scheme out of the iform wing so i did a two-part series for that I, I i'll pop links for that now so you guys can check that out because this is definitely the reason i went back to it i was that much of a fan of the formation uh, of the plays i came out of this formation that during weekend league i was like you know what let me try out the raiders and i was just kicking ass with it. so i got to the point where i was like you know what this might be my next book so if you guys want me to choose your favorite playbook let me know in the comment section what's special about it because i gotta be honest the raiders playbook right here has one play touchdowns against every uh formation i got to cover two one play touchdown out of the gun i got to cover four one play touchdown out of single back and i got to cover three one play touchdown out of the uh out of the gun tight slot here which is what i'm going to show you today this is the uh the first series of plays i'm going to put out out of the race playbook this is probably going to be uh my next ebook if i ever get to the point where I, where I record this this is definitely a fire fire playbook so let's start off though with the gun tight off slot or the gun slot <laughs> i'm not even saying this right the gun tight slot open this particular formation is also in the dolphins playbook um and i i've, I've been well aware of some of these plays but i haven't put them out yet so the first play i'm going to pick which is a really good play you can do a lot of different things with this is the pa read i'm gonna go i'm gonna pick that this is the one play touchdown formation but i'm gonna run a couple different ways just to show you guys what's up so we're gonna go ahead we're going against the broncos defense we're gonna go random nickel i guess is a matching formation so we'll go with that i'm gonna go ahead and move the ball back because like i said this is a big one play touchdown play so we're gonna go back i typically like to run these plays with about 60 yards of open space 50 at the mat at the at the at the least i guess um so we'll, go ahead and we'll run it from here all right, so it looks like another another cover three. We got the single high safety here. I'll probably pick some cover fours here in a minute to show you how that looks. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna motion in the receiver. He doesn't really. He hasn't gotten that edge the way that I want him to, but that's fine. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna we're gonna pass lead this and bullet it. Uh, basically, we have to really lead that out properly. You see, we get the touchdown there. Yeah, I mean the the one thing you guys are gonna want to lab is the angle at which you're pass leading. Um, to make this play successful. I mean, I don't want somebody saying this play doesn't work because it's really all about this uh, this pass lead. It's a tighter window than some of my one-play touchdowns in the past, but you can see he's getting passed. Plus, if a Cooper was a little bit faster, it might make a difference too. I'm not sure if uh, Derek Carr is the best uh, guy for this. You can see, I'll show you the play art too. This is basically the look. Uh, but I'm not sure if Derek Carr is basically the guy for this. But this motion receiver too, by the way, is going to be huge in some of these other plays. As I had to throw that early there, but it still worked out. Didn't get the one-play touchdown because there was a guy in my ass, but it still worked. I'm having an issue running it towards Vaughn Miller. I mean, you got to have... <laughs> you don't want to run this against elite pass blockers. But you can see how that receiver definitely helps out. So we're going to go ahead. I'm still, once again, throwing it quicker than I wanted to. You can see he was passed. Once again, a bad throw by Derek Carr. It's all good, though. Derek Carr is not necessarily the guy. I run this with, with Michael Vick, and he's, he is the man for deep ball plays. For one play touchdown. Look at that block. Nobody even blocked him. What the hell? My, my tackle and my receiver whiffed. Good Lord. So, like I said, you got to work on the timing of that receiver. That receiver is important. So, there, I could have really went triangle. But, like I said, we're trying to go one play touchdown. I'll cover three. Both of them guys are wide open. Cooper and the triangle route. So, just pick your poison. Obviously, you're going to want to go with the bigger play. Uh, but like I said, this play is also in the Miami book. And, I, and I, I, I found this book. I'm going to wait for that guy to engage a little bit. I found this play a long time ago, but I didn't know the capability of its one-play touchdowns. As you can see, he's getting passed again. That's against one of the best seconds in the league. Talib, or Talib is, a, is a nice corner, man. One of the better corners in this game. I think he might have been number one in this game. So we'll go ahead and run this one more time, and then I'll show you some other things you can do with this play. Uh, maybe I'll run against cover four. Not really sure. Like I said, it, the, the cover four one's a much tighter window. We could definitely go triangle here once again, but like I said, let's loft it up. See if we can get that as once again it's a bad throw. But you know what? It looked like a touchdown, so we'll call that a play. I do want to show this one time against a cover four just to show you that it works. I would say it's best to run this from the left side, though. Yeah, this play also works against uh, cover four, but I think you have to put Crabtree in uh, in one of these for it to work against cover four. So let's go ahead and let's do that. I'm going to go, I'm going to roll out. You can see how the coverages are way down 
and then he gets passed. So it is a cover four beater. He didn't take it all the way, but it is a cover four beater. Slightly different adjustment though. And this is gonna make it a little bit harder for that pass blocking. So Lynch here, um, you might have to motion him to the line. I don't even know if he becomes a pass blocker at that point. Um, yeah, you can't even make him a pass block at that point. So the, the, the only issue really uh, with Lynch is uh, pass blocking. Getting that edge is gonna be a little bit harder, but it is a cover four beater just as long as they don't have you can see how those two guys are holding down this time instead of one. And you can see how it gets past cover four. So it is a cover four beater. It's a little bit tougher, though. Yeah, so this play is also a cover four beater. Just a little bit different. Still easy, though. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is put, put Crabtree on that zig. And then you want to pass block uh, Lynch. And uh, I would say it might not even be a bad idea um, to ID the mic um, as far as Lynch goes. I don't know if you can ID uh, defensive ends. I don't really use the ID the mic feature too much. Um, but yeah, it doesn't even look like you could do that. <laughs> so maybe slide left um, Just to kind of try, try to get that uh, hold that edge down because you do got to get that edge So here wait till they engage I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna roll out and we're gonna see he gets behind it again That safety exit did a much better job of uh, identifying because I didn't get the edge fast enough, but you can see it still gets gone So really good play like I said this playbook here has a cover a one play touchdown against every coverage Which is why I'm leaning towards using it um, from now on for a while anyway um, but which is you know, that's definitely important you need this coverage beater So here you can see they go down again. I'm past leading and, and bullying outside. We got another touchdown So that's cover four. Um, I don't think I need to prove it any further. Let's go ahead and let's move on All right, so definitely a phenomenal play there So uh, PA read cover three one play touchdown cover four one play touchdown probably the most used uh, for me or uh, defensive formations out there anyway So that's really all you need to know there slight different in adjustments but a great play. So we're gonna go, we're gonna end this first video with a run play. Uh, I'll definitely have enough for a part two if you guys wanna see a part two. I think that the, um, I think that the best um, pass, I mean, this formation is great, but I think that the Dolphins has a few extra plays that are really nice. Uh, but like I said, I'm sticking to the Raiders book. So if you guys wanna see more Raiders, let me know, hit the like button. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's pick. Uh, I don't know which one's the, my, my favorite run play, but I'm gonna show the halfback sweep on this first one. I'll probably save the next run play for the next video. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Uh, we're gonna keep going nickel because if they don't match, you know, if they come down to three, four, obviously you're benefited. You're benefited to pass. So we'll we'll go with random nickel here. We're gonna go. We're gonna move the ball back to at least center. I mean, you'd probably be better off running it from the far hash mark, um, just to give you space. So I guess I'll do that. Be aware of where you are on the field, basically. So all I'm gonna do is I'm emotioning Crabtree again. Uh, if you guys noticed, I was doing that on pretty much every play uh, in the last, uh, or, you know, in the last play. You have an option to motion him all the way out, let him, let him get all the way to the edge, or you can motion snap him a little bit quicker. You can see here basically. I'm not sure if I have the fast enough running back to run this play properly. I might switch it up, but you can see basically I'm gonna try to get wide and get this edge. I find this play is best motion snapping it, kind of like the uh, the gun tight slots that everybody uses. Uh, which I originally put out, by the way, um, <laughs> out of the Saints playbook and Jets playbook. Uh, but I like to snap him once he gets right behind that tackle. And you can see how he just gets and sets that edge a little bit. And then Lynch is a pretty, pretty first. Oh, my goodness. He's still going. <laughs> he's still going, ladies and gentlemen. As we got Marshawn, Marshawn, Marshawn with a beast mode touchdown. Let's go. Yeah, it's like I said, I'm not even sure this is the best run play. The one that I'll show you guys in part two, or if you can see on my Patreon now, um, might be the best one. But you can see here, you need a little bit of speed. I mean, I don't, oh, that was a hell of a move. And then my blocker gets in the way, 87, move your fat ass, Cook. Man, that would have been a, a much better play if my uh, dude didn't get away. So we're going to go and run a couple times, just get a little bit of consistency. But you can see you're basically just sprinting straight to the sideline. And since I don't have the fastest running back, I'm not getting as big a gains as I would like. We'll go ahead and we'll remedy that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in a speed back if I have one. I'm not even sure if I do. Um, let's see here, Washington, there we go, 91, bang. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, that's fast enough, I guess, let's go. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run this. Uh, motion the wrong guy, who cares? Same setup, who cares? <laughs> Just wanna run it, we're gonna run it, we're gonna run it, we're gonna run it to that edge, we're gonna run it to that edge, we're gonna run it today, we're gonna make that dude miss, and you can see how the speed is definitely beneficial there. I typically don't like to run plays like this that are kind of on the risky side because you're running behind the line of scrimmage. It's risky as far as losing yards, but I find that this play really is pretty consistent. You can see I get the hole in front of me like I was talking about. But yeah, sometimes a hole like that just opens up right in front. And I'll take that sometimes because it's guaranteed yards rather than try to get the big, the big yards like this, like this, like this, son. Look at that, man. The whole line just shifts. And look at that. I just got holes, holes for days. Uh, but like I said, there's two different areas. You just got to look for that hole and hit it. But if you're taking it wide, just sprint to the sideline, basically. That's the plan. Just sprint diagonal like this. 
And get behind that guy. Oh, you just tripped me up, man, but that's okay. You did your job. <laughs> you did your job and finished. No, no. Give me that touch. That's right, baby. Look at these look at these runs right now with this with my man. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was an outstanding individual effort by watching it. So we're gonna go, we'll do it one more time, and I'm only doing this more because I'm having fun. And we're going again. No, 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 no. Guess we're good. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, speed would be key there. So I, I think that's enough. We're gonna go over and end it. You can see when explosive places, especially if you got speed. Um, very similar, like I said, to the uh, the gun tight slots, uh, halfback toss that everybody runs online. But you know what? People won't see this coming because everybody knows that play like the back of the freaking hand. So that's it. If you want to see part two of the raids, make sure you smash that like button or let me know in the comment section what book you want me to go with next. Because like I said, I'm in a transition period right now uh, where I'm basically moving on from the Saints uh, because I've just I've just used it to death. I mean, it's a great book, but it's to the point where I'd like to I, I need a challenge so let me know what that challenge is and I will do that other than that thanks for watching man Moist it out